for our listeners that are tuning in right now and don't know your background, two of you guys are in the United States. I'm going to talk about the Colorado Raptors from the States with some knowledge for a moment. I'm going to start with you. Uh, you've kind of shared this story with me. Talk about what brought you over. Facility at this time, I think it was just on the heels of Rockford's alone. Rockford's lower kind of front of the stage that we built. And uh, my wife and I drove over, and I was looking for a town we wanted to land in, you know, and, uh, and safe for forever, so to speak. And, uh, when I drove into that school, and school is just, uh, you know, you see the support of kids, and you know that your kids are going to be uh, taken care of, and uh, that's that, that's what draw. Uh, and it's hard to exceed my expectations relative to my children and my family life. But the Lord provided us uh, more than we've been able to do. came over from Frankfurt and you lived with some family. Left a great program there. What drew you to be the head coach of the Rams? Professional growth probably was the biggest reason. Uh, uh, Frank Muth is very unique in a small town. Tremendous. Uh, tremendous place to raise a family, uh, tremendous place to teach, tremendous place to coach. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it's got it all. But, uh, you know, I think uh, as time went on, uh, I came looking for greater challenges. And uh, so that, you know, I spent time watching Traverse City and Zag Thrill, and a big ball game up there, a thorough game. Took a little time and uh, looked around and uh, boy, when they were building a new school, I got a call from my players' father, Katie, father's father. And, uh, I, you know, I wasn't necessarily looking to leave, I was looking to make additional things that would continue to uh, motivate me to keep me, you know, like, uh, you know, really fired up about staying in a small town, but I don't know. It was, it was, it was time to move on, accept new challenges, new um, opportunities. People work with bigger, faster, stronger, and more athletes. You know, not the main reason. Okay, but uh, uh, I mean, I still remember the first time I was coming from home. <laughs> you know, coming from what I did, you know, I mean, we were old, but we won't be doing this a whole lot. So, I mean, but then you look back at the good times in uh, the smaller school, and, and uh, I just, I needed a professional growth. So, but I'm a family, I mean, real tough family to leave your roots that were very, 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 very deep. Uh, but the time was good, and, and I must say that uh, I do believe that things are for I do believe that has placed family where we're at with us. Okay, so it's been great. It's been a great 19 years. Uh, it's been a great college. Um, but uh, uh, in, in the end, I mean, how fortunate I've been in my family has been to be in two wonderful places. And Peter, you play for the man. You knew what you were stepping into. Mm -hmm. You had a chance to come mm -hmm. and Where you play a ball game, and our backyard has to be an 
think that we freeze up for just as a you know a, a good time. And all said, you know that your kids are going to be that their kids my daughters are going to drive their house. They know you know that they have similar types of, of values and things like that. Our family has. and you know all around. And I, I, I was a book called them where you're at, and that's my frosty western from Mr. Lutheran. And I think that says a lot about what these two companies within their program. Also, a coach who was talking to the clinic that said some of the best football coaches and those that like these guys, you know, I heard them both speak at clinic to me. It's amazing the passion, not only but what they are able to to pass along to their coaches after their players, and they're certainly able to.